All right, we're back with Final Fantasy XIV. We have some plus quests, and this one, at least this one, at least this one gives us a um, an ether current straight off the bat. Words are very unnecessary. Hello, traveler. As it happens, some of the local, uh, <laughs> goddamn it, uh, Kastiri merchants have been dealing with a problem involving your kind of late. Re reunion is run by the Kastir. I will. It will not do you any. Sorry, it will not do you any favors to displease them. The tribe is famed for its dislike of speech. They believe all, that all words are merely lies. The Kastiri way is to show your intentions through your actions. Nothing else shall suffice for them. And yet, a merchant from far off lands has recently appeared in, re in reunion, trying to force the Kastir to trade by using the very words they despise. Ignorance is no excuse. I have seen others attempt to explain the local customs to him. However, it matters not what anyone says if he will not listen. Uh, I would appreciate it if you were to take responsibility for this buffoon. No doubt he is still in, in the con's tent, harping on. Oh, okay. It's it's going to be someone I know, isn't it? Gasco? Gasco? I have no idea who you are. Cutscene. I don't suppose you'd fancy taking part in this conversation anytime soon, would you? If I've done something to displease you, you need only tell me what... And just who would you happen to be? If you're here to trade, then you'll have to wait your turn. I arrived first. You explain the situation to him. What's that? You're not a merchant. Well, are you aware of the funny customs these Kestir have? Apparently words aren't much use. Only actions will do. He looks to the woman he's been trying to talk to, and she nods. I was told as much by members of other Ari tribes, but I can't bring myself to believe it. How can one run a market if they refuse to speak? Regardless, it does not appear that I stand to gain much from continuing to rely on speech. If even a fellow outsider such as yourself is telling me to follow the Kestir Kestiri customs, I suppose it is high time I acquiesced. Now that I think of it, you're no if you're not a competitor, would you perhaps be interested in working with me? Seek me out if you'd like to hear more. He walks off, cutscene ends. We go outside and we talk to him. Ah, it's been an eternity. It's been an eternity since I last had the chance to talk with a fellow traveler. The name's Gasco. Gascot, Gasco, G A S C O T, Gasco. I belong to the East Aldenard Trading Company, and I've been stationed in the Far East for a while now. I used to work at our Kugane office until a short while ago. Word has it, it won't be long before Doma fully escapes the Empire's grasp. Very few merchants are going to pass up such a good opportunity to trade with a newly the independent nation. I've always been a pioneer myself, and, and decided that I would make certain I was the first to explore this new potential trade partner. I've uh, brought bags full of foreign goods to impress the locals with. Yet despite this, I am unable to convince them to even talk to me, never mind take a look at my wares. If only they knew what, what, what uh, harrowing obstacles I have overcome just to be here. Countless levies paid to pirates, daring escapes from fearsome bandits and beasts. I could go on forever. And what is my reward? The icy stare uh, of a Kastiri woman. Until today, I had never met a lady that thought me anything but a charming gent. As it seems I alone am not up to the t this task, I, would, uh, I wish to ask for your aid, knowledgeable adventurer. If you help me con convince them to trade, I promise you untold discounts on everything I have for sale. You, you take a step back, shocked. No need to be so alarmed, friend. I merely wish for you to help me learn about Kastiri customs. I would not dream of asking you to threaten them or force you to help me with my work. Their culture is unlike anything I have encountered thus far. If I am to get anywhere, I must study all of the customs and deities that govern their day-to-day -day lives. Only then do I send a chance of convincing them to trade. This information shall doubtless uh, be equally valuable to you on your travels. Why, if I weren't such a humble man, I would demand you show your gratitude to me uh, for giving you this opportunity. Words are very necessary is complete. No, I do not believe I will be continuing to help you, simply because... Uh, you don't offer any more rewards that I want. Why am I getting a video? Oh my gosh. That's freaking... Alright. So yeah, video is complete. Um... Because quest is complete, and he does not offer any more plus quests. There's another plus quest I will be doing next, and that will be another video. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.